Hello, my friends, and good morning, and welcome to Wow Wednesday. I am your host this morning, Nancy Matthews. I'm one of the founders of Women's Prosperity Network, bringing you a midweek boost of motivation, education, and inspiration so that you can consistently move forward living your best, most inspired, and highest potential every single day. Today, I have the privilege of introducing you to a woman I met, oh, it was just about a year ago, right, Dr. Inga? I think that we started working together and you became part of our community. Uh, Dr. Inga Young, is that the right way to say it? Yes. <laughs> Inga with a Y, as she always likes to say. Uh, and she is here with us today. We're going to be talking about what's eating you. And as we look at what's happening in our lives, is it what's eating us? What's happening on the outside? Is it what we're eating? Is it a combination of both? And I suspect for most of us, it's, it's a little bit of both. So I'm grateful to have Dr. Inga. She is an acupuncture physician, a naturopath, a body code practitioner, acutonics practitioner, and she has created something called the Allergy Kit. And we'll talk about that in just a little bit. So Dr. Inga, welcome today. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so honored to be here on the, your first stream on uh, this new yeah. platform. On, on the new platform, yeah. Norm, for, for the past, so for those of you that are watching or listening in, uh, we've been doing Wow Wednesday since 2009, every single Wednesday morning, bringing you a conversation and a guest to support you. And when we started this, Zoom didn't even exist. So we use good old fashioned teleconference lines. And we had been doing that just until recently. And um, we needed to find a way to keep the beauty and, and sanctity of what happens during this session, which is you get the opportunity to ask questions, uh, get real answers in real time, and create that connection with some amazing experts that we bring to you every week. So, so know that you're going to have the opportunity to ask questions. You can either post them on the chat in the Q&A for those of you here with us on Zoom. And for those of you that are watching um, through either YouTube or Facebook, just put your comments or questions in the chat and we're here to serve you. So yeah, it's very exciting to transition to this new platform. Um, Dr. Inga, I wanna start off by asking you, how did you get on this path of, um, you know, holistic wellness, health, and all of those things, because this was not your official training. No, it was <laughs> So where did you start off with your training? Uh, with the new training? As no, I, no, no, your original training. I was a chemical engineer uh, to start with, but um, that was boring, and I didn't get a job because I didn't hire any women engineers. This was in Sweden a long time ago in the 60s. So uh, I, and I have always been interested in, in health and food and when we eat a little different, at least at that time in Sweden than, than here. So I've always been uh, educating myself about food and nutrition and so forth. Then in the between time, I lived in Venezuela where I supported myself as a potter. <laughs> that is also far away. <laughs> wait, 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 a potter? Like you made things and artists? I I made a living on doing stoneware ceramics, yes. I, I, I still learn new things about you all the time. It's fabulous. And then I came here in 90 and was going to continue with a friend with artwork, murals as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And I tripped, broke my hand in five places and I had big screws hanging up out of my arm. So there was no artwork, artwork in the future, near future at least. And I always went to, even when I did uh, ceramics, I went to an acupuncturist once a week to keep myself relaxed and my neck and shoulders relaxed. So with that, I started acupuncture again, and then I signed up for the school. <laughs> Fantastic. And isn't it interesting? So as I think about all of the pieces of your past, chemical engineer, so you liked finding solutions for things, putting things together. And then in your artwork, it's about creating new solutions. Is it any surprise, my friends listening in, that she ended up creating 
a solution for people with allergies and suffering from different things in, in creating the allergy kit, which is really a revolutionary way to handle allergies. Like when I think about allergy treatments, my memory goes to, oh, you got to get all these needles in you and you got to be tested and it takes a really long time and it's painful and difficult. And you created something completely different. Yes, and it happened because as an acupuncture physician, I had great results. I mean, it, acupuncture is really one of the best treatments in the world. And uh, it, well, for one reason that it has lasted so long. But there were always one or another that it helped in the moment, but whatever they suffered from came back. And that's when I started to, on a quest to find what the, the uh, missing link was. And then I found allergies and something called Nambodri Pats Allergy Elimination Technique. And I started that in 98. And um, in the beginning, I treated people with allergies, but then I realized people with aches and pains, when I treated them for allergies also, I had much better results. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. So people with aches and pains, when you treated them for allergies, they had results. Like we, we, we don't necessarily connect allergies to... Oh. I've got a pain in my neck, I, you know, or an upset stomach or chronic headaches and migraines. But if you look at it from the Chinese medicine standpoint, you look at the neck, well, it can, all these meridians that go over the neck, it can be the small intestine, the large intestine, the gallbladder meridian. Mm -hmm. It all goes over here. So I look at it a little different. And um, so it just works better when they... Everybody, we all have allergies, even though we don't think we do. And uh, by not being able to absorb the basic nutrients, we, our immune system goes down. So that is why we can get aches and pains or immune system, you know, we get all these colds or whatever it is, plus gut problems. And that is one of the biggest things today is really the gut problems. Mm -hmm. yeah big time and and you know the other thing that i hear a lot about as the cause of our you know aches pains illnesses difficulties is inflammation so yes. it's right so is inflammation a, a a result or an out outcome of allergies is that really can create that correlation yes it's hard to say which came first okay the egg, but today for example if you don't eat organic food, you eat food with glyphosate, which is, it's so bad for the digestive system because it, one of the things it does is it um, inhibits, it's called the shikame pathway where enzymes and bacteria have to travel to go into the intestines to do its job. Mm -hmm. So that's inhibited. And then we have another thing and that is that we, what we eat is today. For example, if you take wheat, which I always talk about, <laughs> mm -hmm. wheat, not only that it is full of glyphosate because they spray the um, plants two days before, two or three days before they harvest it so that the leaves will fall off and the poison goes straight up to the kernels. And that's what we consume. And, and we don't consume like one time a week. It's like, some people call, eat wheat four times a day. And what the wheat does uh, in, in the gluten, there is a component that destroy, that makes holes in the intestine, the intestinal lining. So food, undigested food can go out in the bloodstream. And that is when the body uh, creates antibodies. Wow, and, and so those, so the foods we're eating are having this impact on our internal organs that we don't even realize, and it probably takes a long time for those um, results to manifest. Yes, and people don't realize that uh, it really is the food that, uh, if it's, especially if it's not organic. I mean, I take wheat because we, we should not eat wheat. And even if we eat organic wheat, it is very hard to digest. So it does uh, harm to us. So number one is to eat organic, really. Uh, and, and I have a question about that and actually a little skepticism, if I may. <laughs> so I go to the supermarket, I go to Publix and I have this 
you know, um, the, the aisles of the organic foods. How do I know that it's really organic? Or are they not just jacking up the price and sticking a label of organic on it? Like, I'm, I'm a little skeptical. Because I, I know you're different. I a lot of people are. And really, the only thing you can test is take a month or two, eat only organic, and see if you have a difference. Because, Perfect. you know, even with kids on the spectrum, for example, when parents change their food to organic, they get better because they have horrible digestive systems. Yeah, yeah, so and the food, the behavior, that's all connected. And you, and you wrote a book specifically on this and you can see it behind her. It's called Finding Your Lost Child. And um, oh, there we go, uh, Understanding Allergies and Nutrition. So so I'm, um, let me say for everybody watching, if you or someone you know has um, a child or an adult even um, on the spectrum, you wanna get the book and take a look at um, it, it could very well be the answer to a lot of your challenges and frustrations. So get the book, Finding Your Lost Child. Awesome. Yeah, with, uh, with talking about wheat again, wheat is harmful to the neurological system. So for example, people on Alzheimer's, if you take them off of wheat, their memory comes back, they feel better, they get nicer. Don't have the, they have the same with the, as with the kids on the spectrum. They have these horrible meltdown sometimes these, these kids and other people look at them and say oh the parents don't know how to bring up their kids it's not a behavioral problem it's an allergic reaction mm -hmm. and I, I'm really trying to teach people that you can't judge them you have to change their, their diet period and, and this is a beautiful segue for us to start talking about the correlation between um, our nutrition, our emotions, uh, things that have happened to us in the past. And um, so I wanna move our conversation to start to talk about the, the body code. And so you found solutions related to physical symptoms and you created the allergy kit. You still work with people as an acupuncture physician do, and, and with the allergy kit. And there was something that called to you there's, there's something else you needed to bring into your practice. So t tell us why you looked for or found the body code. What was that happening that you said, there's another layer to this that I need to yeah. bring? We know, most people know that a lot of allergies are related to emotions. And um, I have an emotion kit also, but with the body code, it's a system uh, that is uh, invented by a chiropractor and he has probably worked with this 20, 30 years. And it's a patented system nowadays. And I do it mostly over the phone or over Zoom. Mm -hmm. And I connect with the person. So I, re I am that other, my client's proxy or surrogate. So I get the information and I must have test the person where the emotion can be. Sometimes it's like different organs wants to be harmonized and balanced. Other times it can be that there is a trapped emotion on, sometimes it sounds crazy, but the hypothalamus that can have a trapped emotion at a certain age or the stomach or anything, it can be trapped anywhere in the body. All right, let's define a trapped emotion. And because not everybody thinks about the energy, emo emotions in terms of energy that can get physically trapped in your body. So, so de describe that and define that a little bit. So we go through a lot of things through our lives. And very often when we are small, we don't, I mean, we don't remember things. Or when we are young, we don't remember things. But every time something similar happens to us, it's like scratching in a wound. Every time you scratch, it gets deeper and deeper and we cannot understand sometimes why do we react for this maybe not even a big thing because it comes from far behind from far back and it is just that's why it's called a trap emotion so for example and i can you know i'll self-disclose here a little bit <laughs> so when i was young i'm the youngest of four kids in my family um our dad was an alcoholic and he left the house when I was five years old. 
and he died when I was 15 and I barely saw him during that time. And for many, 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 many years, I had a worthiness issue. I was like, what's wrong with me? Why doesn't he love me? How could he leave me? Yes. And so as a result, I would pick men who would leave me. Right. So, I mean, these are the types of cycles that we see happening and, and where it turned to is, and and where I noticed this correlation is if somebody disappointed me, let me down, I felt abandoned by someone. I I had a huge reaction and it was just that they couldn't make it to a meeting that day, right? Or something. Yes. So I would interpret something happening in the present based upon this trapped emotion. And this can very much also hinder you moving forward in business, in life, in marriage, relationships, kids, anything, because we have these trapped emotions that we don't have a clue that we have. Yeah. So how does the, the process you do with the body code um, release or, or shift them. What, what, and, and, and let me just say for everybody who's listening in, uh, if you'd like the opportunity, we're going to actually ask Dr. Inga to do a little bit of a demonstration for the body code. So uh, get ready and you can raise your hand or unmute yourself when we get to that point in about 10 minutes or so. So tell us how it works. So I, I connect to the person. And um, so I'm, as I said before, I'm their proxy. So then I muscle test myself. And describe muscle testing for anybody who doesn't know what that is. Okay, you test, uh, when you test your, there are very many different ways to muscle test. Mm -hmm. But when you muscle test, if the muscle is strong, it's strong, it's good. If, If you test the food, for example, if you're strong, then the food is good for you. You go weak, if you go weak, it's not good. Mm -hmm. So when I muscle test, I test, I have a a chart and I test, is there anything on this chart that can help this person? And it says, yes, I've never had a no. Mm -hmm. And then I say, okay, it's left side, right side. Okay, right side, one, two, two. I click on that and then it opens up. It's like a Pandora's box. So I ask questions and then I get to, for example, I get to an organ. And then I ask, is there anything we need to know about this organ or situation? And it says, yes. And then I ask muscle testing for what age? And I get the age. And then I go in and look for the emotion. Let me me say that um, a couple of things. It's a fascinating process. So I'm looking forward to someone saying, yeah, pick me, pick me. So we can discover what this is. I was a witness to you demonstrating this the first time I saw you do it. And the person that you had on, you found something that happened when they were like 21 years old. And then also it was related to something a little bit younger. And there was a massive breakthrough just from that. Like yes. what's possible with this? Yeah, sometimes it's, it's uh, amazing. It's like a miracle. Yeah, Debbie Johnson wrote in the chat, pick me, pick me. Okay, <laughs> you'll be up first, Deb, you got it. <laughs> uh, and, and I want to take one quick step back because while most of our community or many people in our community are attuned to the body's intelligence and this correlation between, you know, what we eat, what's eating us, our emotions, our physicality, our spiritual connection, the, the thing about muscle testing that I am so fascinated by and just love is, is that body intelligence? Our body knows what yeah. something is um, catatonic or anabolic, I think are the words. You know, what's good, what's life enhancing or life destroying. So our body has an innate ability to sense those things. And what muscle testing does when you ask questions, as Dr. Inga shared, Muscle testing is asking your body, basically, is this a positive or a negative? Is this a good thing or a not good thing? And if you question whether this is true, have you ever walked in a room and Malcolm Gladwell in his book, Blink, dives deep into this? Have you ever walked into a room or somebody walked into a room you're in and all of a sudden, like the little hairs on your neck stand up and you're like, ooh, I can't tell you why, but I don't like this person. Or there's something not there's something about this person that's that's a little off for me. That is your body actually telling you. It's you know tied to our intuition. So 
I, I believe that so many of us, myself included, until I learned how to tap back in, I was desensitized, almost numb to hearing my body's signals. We kind of also shut it down because it, nah, that can't be true. Mm -hmm. So many, I mean, I know with myself, so many things that happen, ah, no, that's not true. And then like five minutes later, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Very true indeed. Um, all right. Well, are you, um, you want to go ahead and do a demonstration? I can. Okay. Let me go ahead and I will bring on uh, uh, Debbie Montgomery Johnson. So I am going, so you won't be on video. I'll just unmute you so that you can join in Miss Debbie. Let me see. Where's Debbie? There she is. All right. Hello, Debbie. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Dr. Inga, I turn it over to you to... Uh, do okay, so first I'm going to connect with you, Debbie. So if you take, if you're sitting comfortably and uh, take a deep breath with me, and I'm going to connect. Okay. And the first thing that comes up was every, it's all the time that emotion comes up. But the way, the first thing that comes up is the pasha that, you know, it's the connective tissue in the whole body. So that can twist and, and pull and do a lot of things. It wraps around every bone and organ in the body. So let me see. Yes, there is something we need to know. And it's at 18. And vulnerability. The, so there's a trapped emotion in the fascia at 18 of invulnerability. So I have a little magnet that I'm going to balance this out. So take a deep breath with me, Deborah. Yes. For those of you that are watching, Dr. Inga is working with Debbie on um, an issue that she's got. So Debbie is in the background being um, treated by or worked on by, by Dr. Inga. And the next one that comes up is uh, the pineal gland and the age is 13 and the emotion is hopelessness. So take a deep breath, we want to balance that. Yeah. Um, lot of emotions here. <laughs> Debbie, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm listening to the words she's saying, and I'm like, but I'm supposed to be fearless. <laughs> well, well, it was hopeless. I know, I heard hopeless. Okay. And you have a a new book coming out, right? I do have a new book and it's called The Gift of The Gift Called Fearless. <laughs> a Gift Called Fearless. Oh, very nice. So um, what comes up next is the trachea. And um, at 12, and the emotion is failure. So take a deep breath. So for 
for example, these uh, feelings, like when you're young, our feelings are in a way different because it's a small body, but the feelings are big. So it can be something like you failed an exam or some teacher said something. You know, it can be something very simple as well as something bigger. But when it is when you're young, it's mostly because somebody puts you down. So how do you feel? This is uh, we have to do a short session. Oh, I feel fine. I, I would like to follow up with you later on just because, you know, I'm, I'm always curious about this and trying to figure out what's going on in my brain. And, you know, we're in the, that in between stage generationally where I'm taking care of my parents and got some issues with my kids and we're in that sandwich place oh, and yeah. maybe that's you know I'm always feeling vulnerable about vulnerable about what I'm doing with my work and 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 uh and not hopeless I don't think I'm ever hopeless other than will I ever be able to sell the company um but yeah I'd really like to, to follow up and see because it's interesting that you can feel what's happening with me um, very yeah. intuitive. So, yeah, thanks. Well, it only shows that we are all one. Well, that's true. That is true. That thank is you. true. And and Debbie, and for all of those listening, and so first of all, Debbie, thank you for um, volunteering to go through this experience. And if anybody else would like that, you can put it in the chat. You can hit star six on your phone, and then we'll go ahead and bring you on as well. And uh, uh, Dr. Inga, loves her Women's Prosperity Network family so much. Normally she charges $150 for a body code session one-on-one. -on -one, and she's gonna, um, she is inviting people to have a one-on-one -on -one session with her, a quick body code tune-up for just $17. And you can go to dringa.com, Inga with a Y, forward slash special. So it's $17 and you'll get that one-on-one -on -one opportunity to, to work with her further. Pretty cool, yeah? Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me check in. So Debbie, thanks again for being with, being with us. And uh, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna do a follow-up question. So if anybody would like to participate in this, you can hit star six on your phone and it should unmute you. We are working on making that um, happen. So let me clear these things up so people can join us. And uh, we had a question on social media, on Facebook. And the question for you is, if someone reads labels, are there other names for wheat that we need to look for on the white labels? And that's Pat Kennedy. And Pat, I think you're with us both. Um, actually, I don't see you on social. Um, I'm sorry, on the Zoom. So answer that one. If someone reads labels, are there other names for wheat that we need to look for? Well, gluten, of course, is in wheat. So I think that's the biggest thing. Otherwise, I really don't know if they... What but they does, it, about but does it say gluten on the label? They say gluten-free when it's uh, gluten-free. Right. Yeah. So, no, right. It's even, even juice, even, even juice is gluten-free. I mean, it's... <laughs> So what do we need to look for? You know, what are some of the things we need to look for? I I think they put wheat, but I know, and I really haven't. I really, honestly, I haven't checked that out. But I know that, for example, makeup can contain, contain wheat. I makeup? Think, yes, and it's not all of them. But I don't know how to look for it. But there, it, there should be. Um, because sometimes they don't even say it. It's when they, for example, when they filter red wine, they use wheat filters. <laughs> and of course, that doesn't, it doesn't say that anyway, anywhere. Fascinating. Well, but normally it should say wheat. I mean, if you look at beer, it, it says it has wheat. Mm -hmm. If you look for it, you, you have to look for it and then you Sometimes uh, you don't think about, I mean, most of the times we don't really think about stupid things being in other things like wheat and makeup. Yeah, I would never have thought about it being in my makeup. So somebody who's, um, you know, got an allergy to gluten, which most of us do, putting, you could eat all the right things, but if you're putting on lipstick or face makeup, body lotion, what about body lotion? I don't know. Okay, we'll have to look for that. For um, my opinion really is, I don't think that everybody is gluten uh, intolerant. I think they are 
because they can eat other wheat. Some people are definitely allergic to, to gluten, mm -hmm. but most of us are, I think, sensitive to the toxic wheat, to the glyphosate wheat. Got it. All right, well, we, I think I have a few people with um, questions. So I see a couple of you with your lines open. Do you have a question, a 413-563 phone number? Do you have a question for Dr. Inga? Hi, this is Victoria in Western Mass. Hi, Dr. Inga. It's really nice to hear more in depth about your work again. I mean, further to go further. And um, one question I have is that I think often when food is organic, like in the regular grocery store, it's not it's not really organic. Like if you get if you get it from a farm or get it from a co-op or a, a healthier. If it store. says if if it says uh, certified organic, it has to be. Organic. And then it is different if you go to the market and they are not organic. But I think mm -hmm. that uh, small pesticides. I think that smaller um, farmers they don't use as much. They have to use some tox some toxins, but they don't use use it the same way as the big, for example, wheat fields. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Around here, the, there's many, many organic farms in Western Massachusetts, and the food is completely a different quality. Like my daughter will buy organic food, organic food at a big store, and it's just ugly, and it's not doesn't taste good like real organic food. So sometimes the organic um, uh, qualifications, they things are slipping through as organic, and they're kind of organic. I That's where that. my skepticism but, comes from. Exactly. Yeah, but uh, otherwise the um really the organic certified is quite uh, strict so it should be organic if it says certified organic yeah, yeah. i think there's different levels but dr inka i have a question for you so how if someone does the body cold with you how many sessions or is, does that range i'm definitely going to do your 17 dollars session i really appreciate that generous very generous offer and um is there a range of how many sessions or uh, oh, everybody is Everybody is, everybody is different. I guess it's, it depends on how screwed up you are. <laughs> how many layers we need to peel back. Let's go with that. <laughs> and, not, yeah, and, and not only that. I mean, I think that the older we get, we have a chance to, to build more on top of the others. I, we can get deeper, deeper wounds the older we yeah. get. I mean, I know yeah. <laughs> if we don't take care of them, it. Um, yeah, good. Yeah. And do you want to do? Uh, did, did, did you want to do another body code session, or was I brought on just to ask a question? Um, you were brought on to ask a question, um, but I think we can go ahead and do another body code, and then I have more people that are coming in. We've got time, so we're good. I see Roz is going to come in with a question. Lisa is going to come in as well. So, Dr. Inga, are you open to doing another demonstration? Okay. So I am going to connect first. Sit comfortably. Take a deep breath with me. And the gold letter comes up first. And I'm, I didn't hear that, I'm sorry. The gold gold letter. Letter. Something broke up again. I'm so sorry, I have to ask a second time. You said the gold letter came up. Thank you, thank oh. you. And it comes up with uh, at 828 and the emotion is lack of control. Okay. Okay, let's see what the next is. And the next is the gold, uh, the colon and the fascia. They want to be in, in balance with each other. 
the fascia is the connective tissue in the in all the body. Sure, sure, I understand. Take a deep breath. First is the thalamus. And it's the same <clears throat> same time. Um, so it is the hypothalamus at twenty eight. And the emotion is worthless. Take a deep breath. <clears throat> so sometimes people remember, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they, it comes to them later on, a week or two later. Sometimes you never remember, but it doesn't matter. There is something there. I, st I stopped doubting myself. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I remember. Okay, good. How do you feel? What do I feel? How do, do you feel any difference or relaxed or some people don't feel any difference. Other people do. Um, actually, uh, just like a few seconds ago, I felt, yeah, I felt a lot of releasing through my head and torso. Okay, that was the fascia, probably. Yeah, that, yeah, very interesting sensation. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I've worked with, worked, I've worked with my body. I'm almost 67, and I've been working with people since I'm 23. Uh, so that it was a new sensation I like. That's nice. That's good. Yeah, that's good when you're in tune to your body. Good okay. stuff, Victoria. Awesome. I'm okay. sorry, Nancy, I, I, I heard you say my name. I, I just said good that. stuff, Victoria. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank You're you so welcome. much. You have a great day. Thank you both. Bye-bye. Thank you. It's fascinating how you go to this place and you can find the organ in the body that has the emotion trapped and the age where something happens that created that trap. Yeah. Like that's, yeah. that's what you say, age 18, something, da, 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 like, and, and I think Victoria referenced, oh, yeah, I can remember what that was. I, oh, oh, yeah, I know. And then you just clear it. Yeah. And I had, you know, sometimes I get, when the babies are in, in vitro, I had one girl, it came up with her arm when she was at birth. Well, it, which I thought was weird. Then the mother said, no, she, she came with her arm first. So her arm was definitely a little damaged. Oh, wow. Wow. Amazing. Hmm. Um, all right, we've got some more uh, questions coming in. I'm going to go ahead and um, let me remind you of the link so that you can take advantage of uh, the beautiful gift of having a session with Dr. Inga. And you go to dringa.com forward slash special. It's just $17. She normally charges $150 for these sessions. Um, get clear. Breakthrough. Get, get clear. So it's good. Uh, and I see several of you have booked and you said there was a, you were able to book the appointment, but there was a, ch a tech challenge. We'll get that worked out for you in confirming your appointment. So go ahead and um, book your session with Dr. Inga. I'm going to bring on next Roz Knighton Warfield, who would love celebrated, appreciated, and most cherished. How'd I do? Yes, you're loved, appreciated, celebrated, valued, and most cherished. Hey, Dr. Inga, um, I want to talk about, and I, mm, I just came out of the dark about a 10 year addiction that I had between the age of 16 and 26, and now challenged with um, the weight believe that because I didn't have the proper counseling, because it's like God just dried me up, but I didn't get the counseling, that I still went from cocaine into the sugar. And then when I'm eating the meat, it's just like there's something about the addiction that God is revealing that's still there. So what's a good detox 
to start just continually doing the detox to rid of the residue that may still be lying dormant and causing the challenges of um, not the success with the lost weight. When I know I've eaten right, I know I've worked out. And I do know for myself, cortisol, because um, suppression from molestation has been there. So I don't know the, the new avenues. And that may take just to do the appointment with you. But that was my question. And thank you so much. I'm yielding the mic. I appreciate you. It is, uh, it, it is a lot that has to do with addiction. It's not only uh, emotions and feeling of shame and all that stuff. It has, for example, I can take alcoholism. That is an allergy to alcohol, sugar, sugar and vitamin B. And so, so they really have to do the allergy kit. <laughs> And it's the same thing with other addictions, if it's addictions to substances, that it often is and uh, has to do with the sugar and the vitamin B and the addiction that is in with it. Hey, thank you. I'll go look at the link. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Roz, for sharing that and recognizing, you know, and, and saying, yep, I'm going to clear this. I can tell there's there's still some residue happening. And um, so if I heard correctly, Dr. Inger, what you're saying in that scenario, in terms of a detox, really the best place for her to start would be with the allergy kit. Yes. Because, because everybody thinks that, okay, detox. And, and I don't know the underlying health of the person if a person is sick or or frail or has a lot of allergies for example the body is not prepared to do a detox so many people they buy these popular detox things that's really for strong people who are not sick mm. so many people do the detox and they get sick because you it's like you have to build a house before you clean it yeah so that's why the allergy kit. And just so you know, let's take a moment. And then Lisa Perez, I'm going to bring you on next for your question. If you have questions, um, raise your hand or hit star six on your phone, put it in the chat, <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and get you covered. So Lisa, I'll bring you on next. Um, doctor, let's talk about the allergy kit for a moment, because before I knew it, before I had one for myself, um, I imagine the allergy kit was a bunch of needles, especially because you're an acupuncture physician, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> and I see you have it there. You want to show the audience what it looks like? That'd be great. <laughs> okay, so I have here one here that is just the basic kit. It's uh, the allergy kit, it comes in the box. It's not complete. So this one only has uh, uh, eight vials, but it comes with a laser, cold laser and batteries. And the first seven vials is something you have to do first. People, a lot of people don't think they have any allergies or they have allergies to cats or dogs, but they also have sensitivities or at least they cannot absorb the nutrients in the food, mm -hmm. which is where we get our immune system from. It's what we absorb in our gut. So if we either either allergic to something or we don't, we have like the standard American sad diet, there are no nutrients. Mm -hmm. So that's why we don't have an immune system. If we have a good immune system, we don't get allergies, we don't get anything. Right. So, so let me, um, thank you for that. And as you see those vials there, what's in those vials is not being injected into your body. But the way that- no works is with actual frequencies and that's why you have a laser that transmits the frequency from what's in the vial to strengthen your immune system is that correct correct so these are all homeopathized so it's homeopathy homeopathy means like cures like so when we have say an allergy to milk that's a certain certain frequency and when you then treat with the laser and the vial with milk this has more than milk, but it evens out those frequencies. So you don't have the allergy anymore. So good. Fascinating. I'm good. Thank you for taking a few minutes to explain that. Because when, then when I saw it, I was like, well, what do I do? Inject that stuff into me? No. <laughs> and, and again, part of your inspiration for creating the allergy kit was, and I know you've shared this with me, is you would have patients come into your, your uh, acupuncture 
session, get treatments, leave, then have to come back and have to come back and have to come back. How expensive is it? How time consuming is it? The way this works is you treat at home and you get the guidance from Dr. Inga all the way. So um, look at the allergykit.com. Start by booking this session with Dr. Inga for just $17. Uh, and you go to dringa.com forward slash special. Uh, we do know there's an issue with the scheduling link, but we'll make sure we get that taken care of later today. Uh, let me go ahead and bring on Lisa Perez. So let me go ahead and bring you on Lisa. Uh, so let me see if you are unmuted so that we can hear your beautiful voice. There we go. Lisa Perez, are you there? Good morning. Yes, I am. Fantastic. Thank you so much for taking my question, Dr. Inga. I've been dying to call you. <laughs> and so Don't say that. Don't ever say I'm dying. No, we're not dying. <laughs> I was excited to see that you were on well um, today. My question is, I suffer from dermatographia, um, and it's a condition known as skin writing that uh, creates histamines on the skin. It surfaced about 10 or 15 years ago. I can't really you know, remember when, at which time I also became allergic to shrimp. So I do know some of the things that I'm allergic to. My question is, I saw your histamine neurotransmitter. I wasn't sure if the best route to go is to get the full allergy kit, knowing what some of my allergens are, or focus on the histamine no, you get you get the kit, the basic kit first, because that is where you have to start. Okay. And then, and then you can always add the histamine vial. You can, you know, you can buy the different kits, but I have also almost 300 vials extra. And can you explain what the kit is actually meant to do? I'm not sure that I understand that process. Yeah, as what I said, we all have we all have uh, allergies, even though we don't think so. Uh, during my 20 since 98, how many ever year, years that yeah. is. Uh, I have met one single person who did not have allergies. He was from the islands, who grew up in the boonies, no no glyphosate, no pesticides, no vaccine, nothing. Mm -hmm. The only person. So I have put together the allergy kit with like the basic, most, most uh, common allergies. Plus, uh, for example, the second, the second treatment is for sugar and vitamin B because everybody is addicted to sugar. I have that twice in the kit. Then it's for toxins because it helps with, you know, the it's kind of an allergy to toxins. We are born, babies are born, some say 200, others say it's up to 500 different toxins and chemicals in the umbilical cord. Mm. So we have to do the toxic thing. And the four, number four is for allergy, for vaccines. Because the vaccines, the frequency of what they put in our bodies stays forever. And uh, often you don't have a clue that you are reacting to them. So I often see a difference in people, especially in kids on the spectrum, after that they treat themselves for the vaccines or if I treat them, there is a difference in their both behavior and, and health and how they feel, everything. Okay, so they will reveal the allergies uh, is what this kid No, it's because it's not a test since uh, if people know uh, muscle testing, they can test themselves. Mm. But it's not necessary to know because these kind of cover the basic, uh, basic allergens. Okay. So the now, vial, treatment number six, for example, is grains, mm -hmm. and it also has corn, even though corn is not the grain, but it's so common. Okay. And then sometimes you have to go deeper, and uh, but the, to start with, it's better. It's to start the basic kit so you're immune system can start to grow and, and become better. Excellent. And most people do feel better just after the basic things. Okay, thank you so much. They also become more aware of what they may be allergic to apart. Because if people feel not so good all the time, you get used to how you feel. Even if you don't feel 100%, you don't realize you don't feel 100%. Right. So with a kit, you start to feel better. And then if you eat something that makes you feel as you felt before, you know that that is something that you're allergic to. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Anger. Some good stuff. Glad you're here, my friend. Thank you so much. Likewise.
All right. Um, let me check in to see who else has uh, any questions. I'm looking in the chat on Facebook. I know, Simone, you said you had a question. I'm not seeing you uh, on the actual Zoom line. I just... Hi. Oh, there you are. Hello. Good morning. Hi, it's Sydney. <laughs> Hi, Sydney. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful. Glad this, you're here. Me too. This, but, but uh, I think my question, um, I don't know if this is part of the, the, the special offer for the tune-up, but it got me to wondering about the, the issue of um, sensitivity in the bottom of your feet and your heels. Um, if that's, that, if that's an emotion code kind of thing. It, uh, well, it, it can be a lot of things. It can have to do with uh, the fashion and, and emotions or, or something else. Uh, in Chinese medicine, when I treat with acupuncture, I treat the ear. And, and that's pretty effective. Uh, but, uh, I mean, it can have so many... It can be calcium deficiency or it, you know... It can be a lot of things, but often it comes up with a heel. It often comes up with a fascia because it is, it's, it's all connected tissue around there. Right. Cause I knew I had had the, the, I had, it had gone away. I had had, I had done a lot of work with it and, and I, from bone spurs and it had come back and just on one side. And I was like, it just seemed odd. So I signed up for your, for your special and hopefully okay. <laughs> for your but I was just kidding. and and on your way to a solution and relief it sounds like yes yes that is that that is what I am I am hoping for because it definitely interferes with my favorite thing which is dancing <laughs> ah. <laughs> so I want to be able to put pressure on my heel <laughs> Yes, and uh, I mean, it's, I don't know if you have a, like a, 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 an ice bottle that you can roll your feet, roll under your feet mm. and stretch. Oh, I've been doing a, um, a golf ball, but that sounds good, the frozen yeah. water. And stretch your heel, your Achilles heel, even though it hurts, it's important mm -hmm. better afterwards. But, the, but to roll a, a frozen bottle under your, uh, under your foot... That also used to help. Nice. Okay. Another nice. Break. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Fantastic. Thank you, Sydney. Appreciate you. Appreciate you too. Thanks. All right. Beautiful. Uh, and I'll, I'll mention the link one more time for those that are here on the phone. Go to Dr. Inga, Inga with a Y, dot com forward slash special. And uh, Anya Weinberg uh, had a question. She said, body code is a wonderful tool. Is this the body code by Dr. Bradley Nelson? Yes. Yep, same thing. And she also asked, do you use Meekin magnetic wellness products in your work? No, I don't. So you're, just, you're not just associated? I don't, yeah, I, I used to. I had the mattress and, and everything. It was okay. just was to carry around. <laughs> Okay. And it happened that I got blood on them. Sometimes they bleed from the needles. So I think that was one of the things why I didn't want to have the mattress. Yeah. <laughs> on my okay. Well, we, we may be time for a conversation with Anya again <laughs> to see how everything can fit together, right? It's all about that natural wellness. So good. Awesome. All right, great. Let me see here if we have any other question. Um, here is a question yeah. from Simone. I'm wondering if the allergy kit would help identify best personal practices for weight loss and movement? I am not sure I quite understand the question because... Well, I think um, it goes a little bit to what you said before. Like, oh, I'm going to do a detox. I'm going to do this, you know, and, and if, if your body's not uh, in balance, like, how do you know what to detox? I think that's what she's asking. Okay. Well, so that is something that has to be cleared in in uh, in a session okay and she already booked a session with you. okay good yeah, yeah. because okay. uh, because i it's not anything i can find out 
just from the air. I need a little more information. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So she was smart and she already booked that session with you like so many others have. Uh, so Dr. Inga, thank you for this gift and generosity to the, the women and some awesome men as well in our community. Uh, we do know there's a challenge with the booking link. We're going to get that all straightened out and get back with you later today, but go ahead and um, get yourself locked in for the session. We'll make sure we get your scheduled for your session with Dr. Inga. And uh, keep in mind, you know, when something's not feeling good, you say, is it what I'm eating? What I, what's eating me? Or perhaps it's some trapped emotion that you don't even recognize. So you want to reach out to Dr. Inga. So thank you, my friend. I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody who was here. Yeah, it was a beautiful morning. Thank you to everyone for your questions, for joining us. Go ahead and share about the awesomeness that is Wow Wednesday, everything that was offered here today by Dr. Inga. And we wish you a wonderful Wow Wednesday. Until next time, this is Nancy Matthews signing off. Bye, everybody. Bye, Dr. Inga. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.